Transparency International e. v. Ti is an international non-governmental organization which is based in Berlin, Germany, and was founded in 1993. Its non-profit purpose is to take action to combat global corruption with civil societal anti-corruption measures and to prevent criminal activities arising from corruption. It publishes for example the Global Corruption Barometer and the Corruption Perceptions Index. Transparency International has the legal status of a German registered voluntary association and serves as an umbrella organization. Its members have grown from a few individuals to more than 100 national chapters which engage in fighting corruption in their home countries. TI confirmed the disaccreditation of the National Chapter of United States of America in 2017. According to the 2016 Global Go to Think Tank Index report, Transparency International was number 9 of 100 in the top think tanks worldwide non-US category and number 27 of 150 in the top think tanks worldwide US and non-US category. Topic: Role Topic General Transparency International states, Transparency International is the global civil society organization leading the fight against corruption. It brings people together in a powerful worldwide coalition to end the devastating impact of corruption on men, women and children around the world. TIS mission is to create change towards a world free of corruption. The organization defines corruption as the abuse of entrusted power for private gain which eventually hurts everyone who depends on the integrity of people in a position of authority. It develops tools for fighting corruption and works with other civil society organizations, companies and governments to implement them. Since 1995, Transparency International has issued an annual Corruption Perceptions Index CPI. It also publishes a Global Corruption Report, a Global Corruption Barometer, and a Bribe Payers Index. In 2013, Transparency International published the Government Defense Anti-Corruption Index with which corruption in the defense sector of 82 countries was measured. Some governments have expressed criticism towards the methodology of the report. Mark Pyman, the founder of TIS Defense and Security Program, defended the report in an interview and stressed the importance of transparency in the military sector. The plan is to publish the index every two years. Topic. Corruption Perceptions Index The Corruption Perceptions Index CPI ranks countries and territories based on how corrupt their public sector is perceived to be. It is a composite index, a combination of polls, drawing on corruption-related data collected by a variety of reputable institutions. The CPI reflects the views of observers from around the world. The Corruption Perceptions Index has received criticism over the years. The main one stems from the difficulty in measuring corruption, which by definition happens behind the scenes. The Corruption Perceptions Index therefore needs to rely on third-party survey which have been criticized as potentially unreliable. Data can vary widely depending on the public perception of a country, the completeness of the surveys and the methodology used. The second issue is that data cannot be compared from year to year because Transparency International uses different methodologies and samples every year. This makes it difficult to evaluate the result of new policies. The Corruption Perceptions Index authors replied to these criticisms by reminding that the Corruption Perceptions Index is meant to measure perception and not reality. They argue that perceptions matter in their own right, since firms and individuals take actions based on perceptions. Topic organization Transparency International consists of chapters, locally established, independent organizations, that address corruption in their respective countries. From small bribes to large-scale looting, corruption differs from country to country. As chapters are staffed with local experts they are ideally placed to determine the priorities and approaches best suited to tackling corruption in their countries. This work ranges from visiting rural communities to provide free legal support to advising their government on policy reform. Corruption does not stop at national borders. The chapters play a crucial role in shaping its collective work and realizing its regional and global goals, such as Strategy 2015. Transparency International's multi-country research and advocacy initiatives are driven by the chapters. 
According to its 2012 annual report, it is funded by Western governments with almost 5 million euros from the UK government and several multinational companies, including oil companies Exxon Mobil and Shell, hedge funds KKR and Wormuth Asset Management, Deloitte and Ernst & Young. It does not however seem to affect their practices, as Exxon Mobil itself was ranked in 2008 as the least transparent of 42 major oil and gas firms. Topic history Transparency International was founded in May 1993. According to political scientist Ellen Gutterman, TIS presence in Germany, and indeed its organizational development and rise from a small operation to a prominent international TNGO, benefited from the activities and personal, elite connections of at least three key German individuals, Peter Eigen, Hans-Jörg Elshorst, and Michael Wehen. Peter Eigen, a former regional director for the World Bank, is recognized as a founder, along with others. Michael Wehen was a World Bank official at Washington, D.C. Hans-Jörg Elshorst was managing director of the Deutsche Gesellschaft für Technische Zusammenarbeit GTZ, German Agency for Technical Cooperation. Other founding board members included John Githongo, former permanent secretary for ethics and governance in the office of the president, Kenya, General Electric lawyer Fritz Hyman, Michael J. Hirschman of the U.S. Military Intelligence Establishment, now president and CEO of the Fairfax Group, Kamal Hossein, Bangladesh's former minister of foreign affairs, Dolores L. Espanol, the Philippines' former presiding judge of regional trial court, George Moody Stewart, sugar industrialist, Gerald Parfit, Coopers and Librand. Then Pricewaterhouse Coopers in Ukraine, Jeremy Pope, New Zealand activist and writer, and Frank Vogel, a senior official at the World Bank and head of Vogel Communications, Inc., which has provided advice to leaders of international finance. In 1995, Transparency International developed the Corruption Perceptions Index. CPI. The CPI ranked nations on the prevalence of corruption within each country, based upon surveys of business people. The CPI was subsequently published annually. It was criticized for poor methodology and unfair treatment of developing nations, while also being praised for highlighting corruption and embarrassing governments. In 1999, Transparency International began publishing the Bribe Payers Index, BPI, which ranked nations according to the prevalence that a country's multinational corporations would offer bribes. Topic: Non-support of Edward Snowden. At its annual meeting in November 2013 in Berlin, Transparency International's national chapters from Germany and Ireland proposed a resolution calling for the end of the prosecution of Edward J. Snowden. He should be recognized as a whistleblower for his help to reveal the overreaching and unlawful surveillance by secret services. He symbolizes the courage of numerous other whistleblowers around the world. The final resolution that was passed by the plenary excluded any reference to Snowden, and excluded a call for "...comprehensive protection on whistleblowers from all forms of retaliation." The original resolution presented by the German and Irish chapters was weakened following the intervention of Transparency International's American chapter, TIUSA. The whistleblower resolution was watered down by the U.S. delegation. A TI insider was quoted in an article published by the Huffington Post. TI USA is very corporate oriented, very inside the beltway oriented. Five months earlier, in June 2013, representatives from Transparency International declined Snowden's request to meet him at the Moscow airport. Amnesty International and Human Rights Watch met Snowden to support his asylum request, but Transparency International refused. Funding from Siemens In January 2015 it was reported that Transparency International accepted $3 million from the German engineering multinational Siemens, which in 2008 paid one of the largest corporate corruption fines in history $1.6 billion, for bribing government officials in numerous countries. Transparency International applied for and received the money from Siemens, even though TIS due diligence procedures prohibit the organization from accepting money from corporations that want to «greenwash» their reputations by making donations to TI. If any corporate donor is accused of having been involved in corruption, the donor can expect no protection from TI. The procedures state. 
Transparency International received the money from the Siemens Integrity Initiative about a year after the initiative hired former TI staffer Jana Mittermeier, raising questions of a revolving door that has benefited both the organization and the company. Several of TIS national chapters also have accepted money from Siemens, $660,000 for TI USA, $600,000 for TI Italy, $450,000 for TI Bulgaria, and $230,000 for TI Mexico, each for a period of three years. This really shows that Transparency International is not as pure as people think, a TI insider told Corporate Crime Reporter. Transparency International Managing Director Kobus de Swart said, We did not file an application to Siemens, we applied to the Siemens Integrity Initiative. There's a difference. We have not applied to Siemens. However, according to Siemens, the money for these grants is provided by Siemens. Topic internal scandals In January 2017, the TI Secretariat confirmed that its International Board of Directors decided on 10 January 2017 to strip its U.S. affiliate, Transparency International USA, of its accreditation as the national chapter in the United States. Transparency International USA joins Transparency Croatia in having its credentials stripped. The stated basis for the disaccreditation was the board's recognition of differences in philosophies, strategies, and priorities between the former chapter and the Transparency International movement. Elsewhere, it was reported that TIUSA came to be seen in the United States as a corporate front group, funded by multinational corporations, the same multinationals that corrupt the U.S. political system. TIUSA's million-dollar budget was provided by Bechtel Corporation, Deloitte, Google, Pfizer $50,000 or more, Citigroup, ExxonMobil, Fluor, General Electric, Lockheed Martin, Marsh & McLennan, PepsiCo, PricewaterhouseCoopers, Raytheon, Realogy, Tyco $25,000 to $49,999, and Freeport McMoran and Johnson & Johnson up to $24,999. TIUSA previously awarded an annual corporate leadership award to one of its big corporate funders. In 2016, this award went to Bechtel. In April 2015 TI defended the decision by its American chapter, TIUSA, to give Hillary Clinton its Integrity Award in 2012. TIS statement followed a report by National Public Radio that Bill and Chelsea Clinton were not factual regarding the transparency of the Clinton Foundation. Due to a lack of confidence, TIS chapter in Croatia was discredited by the organization's board of directors in November 2015. The previous year, several leaders of the Croatia chapter challenged the legality of the chapter president's election. The president was accused of falsifying records, conflicts of interest, and arbitrarily expelling ten chapter members who opposed the hiring of staff against the organization's rules. The Croatian government eventually revoked the president's appointment. Transparency International has come under intense criticism for accepting millions of dollars from companies that have engaged in bribery. In 2014, Siemens donated $3 million to Transparency International after pleading guilty in 2008 to bribery charges in which it paid more than $1.6 billion in penalties relating to widespread corrupt practices in Greece, Norway, Iraq, Vietnam, Italy, Israel, Argentina, Venezuela, China and Russia. Transparency International's policy forbids accepting money from corrupt companies. In January 2016 a dispute arose regarding TIS chapter in New Zealand. The governance director in TIS Berlin headquarters sought to block an ethics complaint filed against the chapter's board chair by preventing the complaint from being heard by the Berlin office. The governance director also submitted an affidavit challenging a New Zealand court's jurisdiction to hear the case. In August 2015, former TI staffer Anna Buzzoni went public regarding retaliation she and her colleagues faced after reporting to managers questionable financial dealings at TIS Water Integrity Network. Two of Buzzoni's project responsibilities were suspended and she was transferred against her will. She left TI shortly before internal whistleblower guidelines were adopted in June 2014. See also Information Commissioner Transparency International Bangladesh Transparency International Canada Transparency International Slovakia Transparency Serbia <laughs>